hey everyone welcome back to my channel um so today i'm gonna be doing a get ready with me i'm just gonna be starting off with my brows and i'm taking this Too faced pomade and a pencil i got this in gratis from sephora and it was okay um honestly i'm gonna try it out again next time but i ended up switching to my benefit precisely brow pencil because i just think it's better for outlining and filling in i think this one is specifically just good for filling in your brows and not outlining them to get the specific shape you want so yeah, switch to that pencil. All the products I use will be down in the description box below. So I did go off camera and do one eye. Um, and finish the other brow. I am going to tweak my brows a little bit better like later on in the video But I just showed y'all the eyeshadow that I'm doing is very natural and simple So I took this makeup revolution palette. This is like for the medium to dark um, Undertones like so they have different palettes for like light medium dark and I think I have the dark one So I am taking the Fenty Beauty bronzer and Coco Naughty because I just wanted like that brown shade as well but back to the palette. The palette is okay. I bought that months ago and I tried it once and I did not like it. So I was like, let me use it because I think it's a little too late for me to return it. So <laughs> gotta put that thing to use or something. So yeah, I'm using it. The colors are okay. Like if you're trying to do something like basic and simple, then yeah, it, it's cool. Um, and I'm about to show you all the colors I'm using right now. It's just this dark auburn color. And it really didn't even make the eyeshadow look dark anyway. So that's how you can tell if it's pigmented or not but yeah and then i took this i love serai by dose of colors i believe i bought this a while ago as well and i took that shimmer shade and it's just first of all if y'all can't find that palette get it it's phenomenal sorry i'm kind of out of frame by the way but back to the palette that palette is a 10 out of 10 i bought that a year after it launched because it was at ulta so i don't know if it's still there but if you can get that palette try to So I thought I would just talk to y'all for a minute since I am just putting it on my eyeshadow. But um, happy New Year's, Merry Christmas if you celebrate Christmas, or happy holidays. And happy Halloween. Shit, I haven't been on here in a minute, y'all. I've been very much slacking, but hope y'all had a good year. I didn't, but I hope y'all did. So yeah, I'm switching over to this closest um, mascara. It's okay. A lot of the mascaras that they give me in my gratis are okay, honestly and truly yeah i also got the ilia one if you've ever heard of that one it's okay as well sorry for me looking crazy while putting mascara on and then i ended up poking my eye child it was it was a lot i was going through a lot and now i'm just taking the swimsy beauty hydrating primer i don't know why i couldn't get that out and this is just me being extra trying to pump it onto my hand i'm just i was loving my camera y'all i haven't had a lot of chances to play with it so yeah this was also filmed in like November or October or something like that. I don't remember. School, work, it's been a lot. But yeah, I'm just blending it out. And yeah. And then I took a break because, you know, I was real hungry. I, I had been filming for like maybe two hours and got nowhere. So yeah, I took me a break, got some chicken wings for my brother, and then I came back. Yeah. Now I'm taking the Fenty Beauty. Um, What is that? The Skin Tint? And I don't know the shade that I am in. I did a video on it. If you would like to watch it, it should be up in the corner. But I think I'm like shade 17 or something like that. And then I also mixed a foundation. I don't know if I showed it, but um, it was the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation in Marquises. That's my summer shade. Um, it's a little dark for me, so I had to mix the skin tint. Okay, so then I'm taking the Milani Concealer Perfect Concealer. The shade will be down below because I do not remember which shade I am in. I'm going to be taking a couple different concealers. Yeah, um, I've been trying like different techniques since I'm able to do makeup again. Because I ha was having skin issues um, throughout the whole year. Literally for like six months. Y'all, I was down bad. But yeah, this Elf Camo Concealer, specifically the hydrating one. 10 out of 10. Love it 
my go-to concealer, honestly. It's almost up there with the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. Love both of them. And then I don't think I showed it on camera, but I actually added a very like light, bright concealer. It's like probably pure white, just to have like that um, super highlighted under eye. I could not get that out. But yeah, and then um, I'm just using some Real Technique brushes if you're interested in the tools that I'm using. Yeah, very, very affordable brushes. Yeah, I don't feel like cutting it off, so I'm just going to keep talking. <laughs> but yeah, um, hopefully everyone had a safe new year. Let me go back to that. I just stayed inside and made a digital vision board. That's all I did. You know, I was kind of hurt because I bought a bottle of wine to celebrate and I couldn't get it open. Um, the corkscrew was stuck in there and my mama couldn't find the thing to get it out. I'm over here searching for videos on how to get it out and I could not figure it out. So I just took my black behind to sleep. Yeah, I was kind of salty. I'm not even gonna lie to you. And then I go in with my go-to powder, Huda Beauty and Blondie. I honestly need to get a shade lighter. I had Kunafa, then I went to Blondie right now. I kind of need to try banana bread. But yeah, I love this powder. It's a 10 out of 10. The scent is a little weird, but we move past that. Well, I do. But yeah, I really love this powder. And honestly, this, like I said, this was filmed in October. I use the Powder Puff by Laura Mercy A to set my under eyes now. It's exquisite. I honestly might do another video to show y'all. But yeah, it's really nice. Okay, and then I'm just going back in with my Fenty Beauty um, Coconutty Bronzer and just bronzing up my face. I'll be going ham with my bronzer, so this clip is very long. But yeah. And then y'all let my manager talk me into getting this Charlotte Tilbury powder. I'm not mad at her for talking me into getting it because it's a 10 out of 10 as well. I have the tan shade. I know it looks light on camera, but it's really not. You can honestly set your under eyes with this or use it as an all over face powder. I do both and love it. Another good one, if you do not feel like purchasing this one, cause I know it is expensive, try the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder, almost the same. So I just used this e.l.f. blush. I do not remember the shade, so I'll have it down in the description box below. But it's just like a natural berry shade. So yeah, and I went off camera to do my lip combo. That will also be in the description box because I used a couple different liners. This NYX, this Milky Gloss, it's really nice. I love it. And yeah, just that's all the products I use. So yeah. Okay, everyone, that wraps up today's video. All right, y'all, so I ended up losing the clip of my outro, but this was the final look and part of the outfit. I didn't show the rest because I didn't like it. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll talk to y'all later.